everyone. Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and this is our last week of Christmas. Christmas is just around the corner, so I'm going to leave you with one more project, and this is actually the easiest one of all. So it only takes a few stamps and just a few colors, and honestly, you can uh, put this out in no time. So we're going to do this really cute little flowering tree, and um, I'm going to start out with the pot. And that is from the Southwest set. So I'm, get, I'm gonna use this little round one, but you can use any pot that you have. So if you don't necessarily have this set, uh, just use one of the pots that are in one of your other sets, okay? I'm gonna use the little berries from the clay pot set. And then from the flowers and foliage, I'm gonna use the vine. So this one right here. And in the flower set, the little daisy bunch. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out by inking the pot. And I'm just gonna ink the sides. I don't need the top of it. And I'm actually using the brownish gray. So this is number 40. So it's a really light color. We're gonna add color to this pot. And so we wanna kinda of wanna keep it really light. Okay, so just like that. I'm gonna dip my brush now and pinch it off and just pull some of this color out. Just a little bit. It's pretty light and that's exactly what we want. Just drag some of that to the center. Okay, just like that. Now we're gonna take a pencil and we're going to uh, sort of make our the area that we're gonna stamp in. So all I want you to do is make a straight line across the top of the pot. Start about a half inch out and just a straight line like that. And then up at the top in the center, about the width of two pots, okay? So about right here, just bring that uh, that line clear down. So we've created a, a little triangle right at the top of the pot and that's going to give us an area to work in so we can sort of keep that integrity of that tree. Okay, so now the next step is to add our masking fluid because we want to um, we want to create this idea of the little white garland on here. So we need to do that first um, before we do anything else. So let's add these little dots in here and I'm just going to kind of create a little um, garland all the way down and you can do this however you want to. Just make little dots and just drag it all the way down. Make sure they're big enough so that you can see them. And just put that all in there like that. So I'm going to take a little five minute break until that dries and I will be right back. Okay, we're back and uh, my masking fluid is dry and I can tell because the color has changed. So I know that it's safe to stamp over the top of this. So we're gonna now uh, add some color to the pot. So before we start stamping over the top of the tree, let's add the color to the pot. And this is the number 89 persim persimmon. I just really love this red color. It's a really Christmassy red and super bright. So let's add some of this now to the pot. So I'm just gonna take some of this color and I'm gonna make a straight line right down the center. Just like this. I'm gonna take a little bit now, a little more, and we're gonna make another one right next to it with a little bend in it, just a little bit. And then another one with a little, a little wider bend. So a small bend and a larger bend. Don't stress out about this. This is fun, fun and easy. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Okay? The more times that you go over this, the darker the color is going to be. So uh, if you want this to be really bright, vibrant red, just go over it a few times and get some more color on here. You can make this these little stripes a little wider too, however you want to do it. You can make them horizontal. That's super cute too. Okay, so now I'm going to take the fine tip and I'm going to make a really thin line right in between. This is a little hard to do with a brush, so a fine tip uh, works better. Okay, so we've got that on there. We're ready to go on to the next step. So let's ink up our little daisy bunch. And we're going to use that same red. We're just going to ink this all up here. And we're going to stamp it in a circle. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. You can do some smaller ones. Just kind of put this in randomly wherever you want to. And we 
can put it up here kind of towards the top. Okay, like so. And let's go ahead and add in the vine. So we don't really need to add the water yet. Let's just keep going and get the vine in here. One, two, three, four, five. So we want to get in that, get that in there a bunch of times too. And just kind of follow your, um, your outline here. It doesn't have to be perfect, and it's okay to stamp outside of it a little bit as long as you kind of keep the, the, the shape the same. So we're kind of working in the shape of a triangle here. And just keep going. Just keep adding this inside. Just like this. It's easier to turn your paper uh, than it is to turn the stamp sometimes, so feel free to do that. And go ahead and stamp over the top of that pot. That's okay. Get some of this foliage in here. And just keep going until you've filled it up. A little more in here is good. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and add the water now. Let's start with the red and just kind of dab. We don't want to lose all the white areas, but we do want to kind of blend. And that's going to activate the color too. It's going to make this red really dark. So just kind of blend. Stay with the red. Don't go into the green yet. But if you get a little bit of it, that's okay. Okay, now we've got that done, that done. So let's go ahead and add the, let's do the green. And just kind of blend, jump your brush around. Remember there's no brush strokes here. We're not going in a circular motion. We're just kind of jumping our brush around, kind of bouncing it. And just softening these lines that we've just stamped. So fun. And this vine and little daisy bunch, it's so versatile. This is from the basic set, so the flowers and foliage set. These stamps you'll be using over and over again. So um, it's really good to have that set. And as new projects come out, I'm still going to come back to those over and over again because they work so well. Okay. So I've got my green in here. So let's add some of these little berries now. And I really don't need to ink up the stem at all. I'm just gonna ink the very top and just get these little, just get the berries. And you can just put these uh, just wherever. A few up at the top. Just stamp them a couple of times. They're they're more like accents, so they don't need to um, they don't need to be stamped five times, but you should try to get them in there a couple. You can get a few inside too. Okay, that looks good. So let's add some water to it, and just. Just with the very tip of your brush, just touch these little berries. They will, uh, they will just pop out when you add water to it. So we want to really leave them a pretty definite shape. So I don't, don't want to blend them too much. I want to see that they're berries. Okay, just tap. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you want to, you can add a few more little dots in here. It's kind of cute. That's up to you. Okay, so let's add the, the little decorative embellishment. So that is just two lines. Remember how we make a bow? So two lines, just like this, and loops. One, two, three, four, five loops, and two lines. Okay, just like that. Easy. And then let's put a little shadow at the bottom. And that's just the um, the African violet. So we're just going to take a little bit of this from the palette. Make sure your brush is really clean after you've been in that red 
So make sure you've really cleaned that off and just drag a little of this color underneath. Really easy to do that. Okay, and as soon as everything is dry, make sure everything is dry here before you rub off the, um, the masking fluid and make sure your hand is clean. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just take all this off so that we can see our little white garland underneath. There we go. And now's when you can add some glitter to it. I like to add Wink of Stella. I just think it adds so much sparkle, makes it look Christmassy, but that's up to you. So go ahead and add some sparkle to it if you want to. You can add it to the green or the red, just like this. Stay out of the little white areas, but get all of that red and green. Okay, and that looks good to go. Uh, be sure and sign and date. Sign and date and put that on a card or put it in a little frame and give it away at Christmas time. You've got time to make one more little watercolor card. So go for it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.